welcome back to Reese's Reels and today I'm going to show you how to draw this cool thing where it looks like you could actually put your finger through inside of this piece of paper that I have here and it's going to have some pretty cool designs so what you're going to need is obviously a piece of paper a pencil and something round I have this thing, it's from like some putty. Here. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use. That's what I'm going to use, That's and that's what you need to use. Some something round, whatever you want, that's round, and then a pencil and paper. First what you're going to do is you're going to place the, your, the thing that you have that is round, whatever it is. And then you're gonna draw around. Draw around it. To make a circle. We have a circle here. And you're gonna put it. One right like like this. And go around all the way to the other side. And it doesn't matter if you have that. You can always just erase that later. No, I don't care about it. And then you're gonna have it where there's like a maybe a little gap there. You're gonna have a little gap there. And you're gonna go around it that so then you have a little gap there do that again And my dad actually did this. He actually started to do, he just actually did this um, one night when he and I were drawing um, together at the table, at our table, not this table, a black table. And you're going to do something like that, where it's like curves there. And then you're going to keep doing that. Just make curves like that. And then what you're going to do, if you're not a very good drawer, um, you, ha you should probably try this out. on the next step after you do the the little round curves okay now what you're gonna do is this is not the next step yet but you're gonna color in the very middle part of your stuff at the very bottom and it actually now it might look like it's actually kind of a hole at least to me but it's not done yet so if you're not a very good drawer you should um, probably practice this if you want to be a good drawer we're doing shading here in the corners. There. And 
If you wanted to, you could always erase some of it. I do that sometimes. And then my trick is to rub wherever you did shading. Or if you have like a shading stick or something, you could also do that, use that too. Okay, there we go. You have one side piece shaded. I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay. And then all you're going to do after that is you're going to do it that to all you're going to shade in all of the corners. And then this it, I'm going to post another video of a a um me doing this in a faster thing. I call it fast motion. I'm sh pretty sure that's what it's called. Instead of slow motion, it's fast. So, I'm going to post another video of me doing that, doing the shading, the edges. And, and that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Reese's Reels. Bye!